Hey, welcome to Developers Academy. It's the founder of Developers Academy. Today, I would like to give you an introduction to UI tail view. And then at the end of this video, I want to give you a sneak peek so that you can take a first step to your mastery at UI tail view. When you come to this video, I believe that you already have some experience in iOS. You might be really quite familiar with Swift and you already developed some basic apps. So I will build on top of those things some uh, assumptions that you already know a lot about iOS, okay? And you come across some of the apps that you want to build that want to use some kinds of a presentation, your data in a table form. So UI tail view is perhaps the most efficient, customizable and beautiful UI in iOS. But the problem is when you come to UI tail view, there are so many things that you have to learn. There are things like what is a UI tail view? What is a view controller? What is, I'm sorry, not view controller, but what is a UI tail view controller? What is the difference between UI tail view and UI tail view controller? Right, when you go to the object palette, there are tons of things over there and there's one thing called UI tail view, one thing called UI tail view controller. And when you go to UI tail view, there are tons of other things like UI tail view delegates, UI tail view data source, where is multiple sections, delete rows, static cells, custom cells. There are so many things. So in this video, before going to any further into real code and um, demo, I want to give you an um, some of summarize so that you have uh, the map so you can follow to master UI tail view. Okay, in this video series that I am going to give you for free to learn about UI tail view, the first part we will learn about how to use a UI tail view, how you can create a UI tail view, how you can connect it to the view controller and use the controller as a delegate and the data source for your tail view. Next, you want to learn how to use the tail view among other view controllers, other UI in the code. Maybe you want to use some text fields, some labels or something. And this is going to be the app, the first app that we will build in this series. We'll have very simple app to display a lot of Apple products and we'll call that Pretty Apple. The second part in this series, we will learn about how to use a UI tail view controller, how you can use it so that you uh, why we want to use a UI tail view controller so that iOS will do a lot of um, the work for you. Things like animation. There are some animation in a tail view that when you use a UI view controller, UI tail view controller, UI view tail view controller will do some of the work for you. In the third part of this series, we will learn about how to create multiple sections in a tail view. We'll learn to categorize your data source, which is simply the data in your view controller, in the table view controller, into some categories, or in this case, we call it sections. The fourth part of this series, we'll learn to delete the rows. Um, sometimes it's sad to delete something, right? Especially if you're working on some kind of like social networking apps that we want to delete some rows or some kind of thing that you want to unfriend somebody, let's say. But it's good for us to learn how to delete rows, right? So the fourth part, we'll learn to delete some rows in tail view. There are some delegate methods that we need to implement. And that is when you come to this section, into this part, you will really understand what is UI tail view data source and delegate. We'll have to update both the UI and uh, implement uh, updates the data source also. In part 5 of this series, perhaps it is the most interesting and exciting part in this series. We will learn to create this wonderful pretty Apple app which has beautiful customized cell. This cell has beautiful image, stunning stacks and the description of the image. We will learn to create custom tail view cell to create a subclass of UI tail view cell and then we will apply auto layout on this cell also. Now, perhaps the most difficult thing in, uh, in custom tail view cell is apl applying um, auto layout on that cell because now the part of the code that you create the cell, create a subclass of a cell, connects the code to the cell 
which you will become really familiar but applying auto layout on a custom cell of a tail view cell sometimes it is kind of an art rather than a science so we will practice with that a lot and we will create this beautiful apps and actually there are a different version of this app we we'll also implement so we'll, you will be safe that we will create a lot of UI to, for you to practice with auto layout in this series also if you have been using the settings app or the Instagram app you are familiar with static cells in Tailview that's what we are going to learn in part 6 of this video tutorial series in part 6 we'll learn about how to create static cells in Tailview the first thing um, we'll create those static cells and the difference in this case is that static cells in Tailview doesn't have um, data source we do have delegates but we don't have data source anymore um, the third thing uh, in this series we not only learn about stack cells there are tons of other things we'll learn about we'll learn about how to create an image picker sheet uh, image picker controller we'll learn about how to create a text field which is incredible we'll learn about the text field delegate and text view delegate you will see that in this app we have the text field represent the title of the product the text view we will use it to edit um, some of the description for the product and we'll learn to handle the keyboard so if you can imagine in this case when we click into the text view the keyboard will appear and it will it will upscale some of the elements inside the tail view we'll learn how to handle that case also we'll also learn to handle when we when the user done with editing the information about the title or the description we'll learn how to dismiss the keyboard accordingly so that is that for this video introduction to ui tail view i'm really excited to show you the full tutorials of this series so you may ask what is the first step now what is the first step to master your ui tail view skills so the first step in this series i will tell you that go to your email i already just sent you an email about the first part of this series so go to your email that you give me uh, a few minutes ago that i will send you that video okay and if you don't then give me the primary email that you are using go back to the page uh, previously and enter your name and primary email so i can send you that first video training about ui tail view how to create ui tail view and why you want to use it tomorrow i will send you another video how to create and use ui tail view controller why you want to use ui tail view controller so i see you in the next video where we will learn about ui tail view do i tell you and see you tomorrow also watch for my email tomorrow see ya